California, much of America and Canada with their eyeballs on this great NCAA National Championship game. 9.15 to go. The Terriers trying to complete an unbelievable season. Beanpot, regular season, postseason tournament, and maybe the Natty if they can hold on. But this fire team will not give up. There's Marwin back on the ice, Barry, 14 in black. Don't be surprised if he pots a big one. And look at Holman to Oxenden. But Parisi keeps it in. Pino, but stolen by Greer. Oxenden can't get it out. Mingoya keeps it in. This happened against North Dakota late. The Terriers couldn't get the puck out. And the pressure stays on. Shot to flex wide. And move their legs and skate. You heard it right there. Parisi back in it goes. O'Connor catches. He'll leave. Oh, it's in! Oh, my God! for the second straight game, gives the opponent a gimme, and we're tied at three. Wow. At the start of the game, we talked about O'Connor, we talked about his play in the previous game. We talked about that goal he let in. I know exactly how you feel, pal. The Terriers are stunned. Stunned, the whole place is stunned. Providence is stunned. The puck was up in the air. Simple play. We talked about BU sitting on this. Puck's dumped in. O'Connor has it in his glove. But he doesn't really know what to do with it now. Oh and he drops it. Goodness. And throws it in the back of his net. Every time I think I've seen everything in sports, Johnny, I see something new. He was going to lay it down at the side of the net and it fell out of his glove. Bless his heart. He doesn't know where it is. He thinks it's in his glove and it ends up going between his legs. Holy man. The check in to see. We were going to see if it was offside. Oh. Johnny, this place is nuts. Oh my goodness. This building is absolutely nuts right the now. The entire tenor of the arena has changed. He, all night long, he's looked like a man who hasn't spent a he, lot of time exactly. playing baseball growing up. He kind of grabs the and, puck, he doesn't catch it. And how many times has it hopped over a stick behind the net? And, and, uh, I don't know. I just feel sorry for the kid. Now we've got a line change war going on here. David Quinn gets the last change. He called the Michael line out after Rooney came out. I don't know. Now David Quinn, that team has to get the momentum back because they've sort of been playing kitty by the door. Now they got to get momentum back. There's just a shocking turn of events in front. Shot save O'Connor. Terriers cannot get the puck out. The momentum has changed completely. Shots are up to 44-37 now in favor of BU. As Doyle Summerby brings it out. 3-3, third period for the national championship. John Butchergrass and Barry Melrose here on ESPN. And here comes. If I'm problem, if I shoot everything, I shoot from my own end right now. The only thing to keep in mind. BU could have the next power play coming their way. It's 3-1 in terms of penalties. You know, it's human nature. Oh. It could be in the back. Oh. oh, my goodness. And now the whole crowd senses it, and you know he O'Connor can hear it. Matt O'Connor does not want the puck right now. What a play by Fortunato. Rodriguez. Oh, but chopped down beautifully there by Brian Pino as Rodriguez tried to make a move. Fortunato sauces to O'Regan. Nice play to Eichel. Eichel now. Can Jack Eichel rise in occasion? for a big goal, that's called offside at the line. And again, what I like. In this third period with the national championship on the line. The best line of the game for BU has been the line on the ice. Holman, Greer, and Oxenden. Holman, here comes Greer. Ooh, try to make a move around, but he couldn't on Josh Monk. It comes back to Grizzly. He goes to Brian Diffley. And it comes down to Gillies, another twig in front of Gillies. There's been, it's like a yard sale in front of him tonight. Jankowski, he's dangerous. One on three, though. And Hickey makes a nice transition move from defense to offense. As Olsen goes to four check, number 13. Big hit. He finishes every check, number 13. But the Friars have room to escape. Here they come. Demopoulos, chip and chase. Look out, O'Connor. Rims it around. Parisi, who made that smart dump in, who got the goal on the O'Connor muff. Lane battling to Fortunato. Fortunato's way up too high here, the defenseman. Now he gets back. Olsen can't handle, that's gonna be icing. 
So the Flyers can't change. The Lions can get right in front of the BU bench, prevent Belageron from changing. David Quinn, he's got a timeout to use if he wants to. I don't think he will here, although the, some players are bent over. He could use his timeout here. As the Sioux fans, we saw them last night, Barry, North Dakota. They said they're rooting for Providence, and right now they're on their feet. Quinn Kestick. A demoralized BU bench as the players were forced to watch that goal up on the big screen. To a man, their head went down, but to, uh, you know, their chins down to their chest. Uh, it, disbelief. Timeout. Disbelief for sure, Quinn. And David Quinn will use his timeout. He waited to the last possible second. So we'll get this line of break. There's, they cannot afford to be tired to make a tired mistake. So we'll give them a few. All right, here's what. Now, what do you do with your goalie? This is what a coach has to do. Is he the type now I go to him and talk to him? Or is he the type that I just leave him alone and let him stew? He gets in with the group. I like to see that. O'Connor jumps in there with his buddies listening to him. Got the weight of the world on the kid's shoulders right now. Let's see if the coach talks to him, gives him a pat in the butt, whatever. But right now, you know, six-minute game. You got a goaltender that's, uh, that's really in trouble right now in net. Well, it's been the theme. In our production meeting today, we said, hey, just in case, you know, Matt O'Connor has had some issues on simple plays. And we start here against Duluth up in Manchester, New Hampshire. Simple play. And it hit the glove. That seems to be the problem right there. There's the one from the last game against North Dakota. He lost it off the backboard. And Stretcher goes in and gets an easy goal. Right here is that flipper we talked about. Hits the glove again. And it's in the glove. But he doesn't know where it is. And he's going to lay it down. He ends up throwing it between his own legs. Just, You, you just got a feel for the kid right now. But oh, yeah. again, if I'm Providence, I'm on that bench. I, I'm Nate Lehman. Shoot it. Shoot it. And if you don't shoot it, shoot it again. Put it at the net. Put it at his feet. Make him play the puck. The timeout allows Jack Eichel's line to go out. Now they can change. And Eichel will go out there. I can't, I, I can't figure that rule out. Eichel. But Jankowski wins the faceoff. Tandem. Shot. Score. Toronto native gives the Friars the lead. Well, this goal was not O'Connor's fault. This goal was the other five guys on the ice's fault. BU completely fell asleep on the draw. We've been drawing all night how BU has owned the draws against Providence. Right here, it's the complete opposite. Providence is owning the draw. There's the loose puck. We talked about coming in and helping your sentiment out. And Tanif does that right there. And a great shot over the left shoulder of the goaltender, O'Connor. Win the draw. Win the battle, win the race, throw it upstairs. That is exactly what Coach Quinn was talking about his team doing before the game. Right there, Providence did it to BU. Gary Price wouldn't have made that save. That was next to Matt O'Connor's ear hole at about 90 miles an hour off that twisted wrister by Tana. So now the Terriers are in comeback mode. O'Regan down by one to Eichel in front, loses control, puck loose. Rodriguez hunts it down. Eichel back to Hickey. Hickey to Fortunato. Whiffs on it. Here comes Tanner. Will he make it five to three? No, what a great job by Hickey. Eichel picks it up. Homan. This is the line that can do it for the Terriers. Homan tries to dance. Florentino says there'll be no dancing. O'Connor is out of the net. The Terriers have pulled their goalie. Extra attacker on. Jankowski kept in. A big risk by David Quinn. Oxen in. 